McClanahan here today with my team. We're going to shoot a video on a commonly asked question that we get here frequently in the clinic. In fact, we get this question, if not once a day, at least a couple times a week. Uh, we get people asking us why do they get cramps in their feet. And there's many different medical reasons for people to get cramps in their feet, and we'll touch on those briefly. But there's also a very common reason that we see here in the clinic that we're going to talk about as well. So typically when people get foot cramps, they're worked up for a medical reason for their foot cramps. And oftentimes that can be an electrolyte abnormality, such as something like calcium, magnesium, or potassium. Certainly people can also get a lack of circulation, which can cause cramping, in, particularly in the calf muscles. And this is known as intermittent claudication. If you happen to take different medicines like statin medication for your cholesterol, you may be getting cramping from your medication. And certainly there are various types of nerve problems that people will develop that can cause cramping. So those are some potential medical reasons why people get cramping. But today we're going to focus on probably the most common reason why people come to our clinic for cramping. And that cramping is occurring in the bottom muscles of their foot. These muscles in podiatry are known as the plantar intrinsic muscles. They're also known as the arch flexor muscles. And those muscles are short muscles. There's four layers of them in the bottom of, their, of our foot. They start here at the heel and insert variously at the uh, tips of the toes. So the most common reason why we see people getting cramping in that muscle group is most of us in, in America have spent most of our lives with shoes that have an elevated heel on our shoes. And so for those audience members that would like to look at the medical research behind that, there's an article that we're going to link to at the end of our video today that examined two different groups of women. One group of women functioned on a completely flat shoe. The other group of women functioned on a two inch high heel shoe, which is common in America. The conclusion of that paper was that the ladies that walked on the two inch heel had a 13% shortening of their calf muscle. So if you were to be a patient visiting us at, here at our clinic, we don't recommend elevated heels on anybody's footwear ever for any reason. Because essentially what it does is it shortens the back part of our leg. Second common thing that occurs in America is many of us are out today walking around on shoes that have a feature known as toe spring, where the ends of the toes are held above the ball of the foot. Believe it or not, in 1905, Dr. Phil Hoffman did a paper on this very thing. And he noticed that only in industrialized cultures where people wear shoes with heels and toe springs do people develop tightness and contracture of the muscles on the front of the leg. So you can imagine, if you've got tightness and shortening in the back of your calf muscles from the elevated heel, as well as shortening and tightness in the front of the calf muscles due to toe spring, the only other layer of muscles in the, in the foot are the small intrinsic muscles that we're going to talk about today. So typically when people come to our clinic and get a rehab protocol, one of the things that we have them doing is called the toe extensor stretch where we're actually stretching the toes in under the foot, which is exactly the opposite of the position that most of us are spending most of our days in. Almost immediately upon performing that stretch, people will get cramping in the arch of their foot. So this kind of cramping is not a medical issue. This cramping is a muscle imbalance. People also will feel this cramp if they are swimming in a swimming pool. A lot of times they'll feel this cramp if they crawl under the covers in their bed at night and their sheets or their covers pull down on their toes. In order for your arch muscles to function properly, they need to be in what we call their proper length to tension relationship, which is to say that if the heel bone is pulling upward and the toe bones are pulling upward, these little arch muscles are going to be held in too long of a position and they will no longer function appropriately. So if you're one of these people that develop cramps in the arch of your foot by putting your foot into these various positions, you're likely to benefit from flat footwear, toe extensor stretching, which is also uh, listed on the website, as well as the use of a metatarsal pad. And we also have a video on the proper use of a metatarsal pad. So if you're a person that experiences those kinds of cramps, it may not be a medical issue. It may purely be a muscle imbalance that is reversible.